Hey, I'm Dan, Rum Overland Vehicles. This is a quick video on rib nuts, rib nut guns, rib nut tools, different tools that I've used throughout the years. Um, we do high end custom camper vans and uh, Unimogs and German military trucks, and I use these all the time in our builds. So, what a rib nut is, is a little tiny piece of metal that, when squeezed into the hole, say a piece of sheet metal, it turns into a captive nut. So you don't need to reach behind it and actually add a nut onto the back side of it. So your bolt will be able to go and just attach. Um, tools vary. Uh, I couldn't really find a lot of videos on different ones. So I just want to do a quick one. This is a DIY method. So 516 bolt goes into the 516 rib nut. That would just match with whatever rib nut you're going to be using. Say if you use a 3 8 you use 3 8 Flat washer that spins freely. A nut that's bigger than your 5 16th that'll spin freely. And this is one of those internal lock washers. And what that'll do is it grabs onto that rib nut. So this method uses an impact driver and a wrench. So the wrench would go onto the nut there. And then the impact driver is on that side. I'll show you this in use in just a moment. Another one that I've used is one of these. So Riv nut goes onto the end here, and you thread it all the way down. And then as you squeeze, it squeezes the riv nut and locks it into place. What I'm currently using is a pneumatic riv nut gun. Same concept as this, it goes on, but once you get it. Now that will lock into place. I'll show you the different ones here in just a second. Okay, so uh, first thing I did was drill the holes. Um, there's certain size holes, holes needed for certain size rib nuts. So I've done that. Goes in, you hold it with a wrench here. This is definitely not my favorite way to do a rib nut. So we'll give it a go and we'll see, we'll see what it looks like. So you can see how it pinches the backside. And then you back this off. And now you have a captive nut. But you can see how much it mars it up. I'm not the biggest fan of those. So that's why I don't do that one anymore. You could probably get a cleaner one than that, but this metal's pretty thin. All right, let's show this one. So this one, rib nut goes on. It's much quieter. And then you just squeeze, and you can see how it pinches the backside onto the metal. Again, this is really thin metal, so this isn't the ideal situation. I'll show you actual use in a van, but you just unscrew it. And now you have a captive nut inside of your wall or inside the piece of metal you're using. Um, I like this one, but I found problems with getting this motion into certain tight spaces. Um, that was definitely an issue sometimes. My favorite. This one is the pneumatic. It runs and it's so fast. And it's always square. So with the hand pull one, I found you can see where it, it kind of goes in there a little off center. Just from the nature of pulling it, sometimes one side will go more than the other. So I found it will skew sometimes. With the pneumatic, it goes in and it's square every time. I'll post some links for each one of these down below, but I hope this video helps. Let me show you, actually before you go, let me show you inside the van. All right, here's actually inside the van. So we add riv nuts along this framing unit and we actually add a rail that will mount a whole bed system on here. So getting back behind here, you can in certain spots, but it is a pain. So with riv nuts, you don't have to worry about that. And once you get the gun, it's as easy as that. These things, this gun is amazing. Well worth it if you're doing any sort of builds like this where you need a lot of riv nuts. Thanks for watching.